Cesar Sanchez here today with my partner, Jacob Irons. Jacob, Milwaukee is coming off a Friday win against Cincinnati and a loss against Bowling Green yesterday as they hope to finish their weekend slate strong today with Matty Malone leading the way for the Panthers. Yeah, the freshman out of Newark, Illinois, Maddie Malone has already made her impact on campus this season. Last weekend in the Panther invite, she recorded 21 kills in three matches. And yesterday against Bowling Green, she had a team high 18 kills. Look to her to have a large impact on the attacking front of this Panthers offense, which has been electric so far in the Shamrock Invitational. Meanwhile, the Irish are still searching for their first win of the weekend with two losses against Bowling Green and Cincinnati as Aubrey Hamilton hopes to help change that with a strong showing against Milwaukee. Yeah, Aubrey Hamilton, the sophomore out of Heartland, Wisconsin, has given the Irish not just something to cheer about for this weekend, but all season long. She is first on the team with 44 kills and averages 3.14 kills per set. Look to her to provide an offensive spark this fighting Irish team has been missing. We are just seconds away from the first set of this matchup, but before we get underway, let's take a quick look at the coaches for each squad. Mike Johnson will lead the way for the Irish, and Susie Johnson will lead the way for the Panthers. And right away, we have one point already scored for the Irish. Quick start to this matchup, and we're ready to get going. Exactly, that's what I the Irish have needed all weekend, as they've been missing that little spark to get them going. Second serve of the matchup today. And a good dig there by Charlie Nigo. The serve will be saved yet again. Setting it up, and the Panthers will bury that one. And yeah. so they'll tie this one up. A nice job by Miller there to send one down into an area just a front of an Irish defender that couldn't really take a step forward before the ball could get there. The serve to the Irish now. They'll try to set something up to no avail. The Panthers will return. And a good tip over there, but it appears the ball, uh, actually the player was already stepping out of bounds. Yeah, the play, Muth was already out of bounds there when she tried to hit it, so they're going to give it over to Milwaukee. Good dig there by the Irish. Return to the other side, and... Milwaukee unable to put something together, so the Irish will tie this one up at two. Yeah, but nice job by Grabowski of Milwaukee to try and lay her body out, trying to prevent, try and get it over and get it into a, one of her teammates' hands to try and push it over, but just no avail there. Senior jo Zoe Nunez here to serve. She'll send it over. Returned by the Panthers. They'll try to get something going, not able to. The Panthers will send it back over. Nigo to stop it. And there was Jess Grabowski diving for it, trying to have an emergency dig there. It wasn't successful. So we'll see Nunez send it over back again. Miller did a nice job, a nice little dunk. Doesn't have to have power here in volleyball. And there's a volley back and forth. And eventually, I believe we have a net violation there. So that'll give the Panthers another point, And that'll be 3-3 three to three so far in this matchup. We knew coming into this match it was going to be a nice, tight match. And they're just they're giving us what we all expected here. The Panthers will send it over. But that'll be a serve violation. And that will just go right out of bounds. The Irish will get the ball back. Aubrey Hamilton here leading the charge with the serve now. Hamilton will put a charge back into that one, sending it to the Panthers. And a good spike there by Manny Malone will send it to the Irish side and they weren't able to dig it out and they'll take another point there. Exactly, they weren't able to move their body over to it. They got it on the left wrist when they wanted it on the equal side of the wrist, just deflected off and couldn't get it in play. The Panthers making some substitutions here as Kledesern and Kost will come in. 
and Kaylee Blake will take the serve here, sending it back over to the Irish side. Waiting the serve here, and she'll send it back over. Irish respond with the volley. And a great block there. That was Lindsay Miller leading the charge there. She'll send that one back, and the Irish will take the lead yet again, 5-4. to four. What a great job by Lindsay Miller, timing it, perfing it. And look at it right here again, pushing her hands right there and being right there and jumping off right on time. So now we'll have Lindsay Miller send this ball back over. And she isn't able to get it over, so that'll be a point for Milwaukee. Kind of a tough turn of events there. You come up with the block and then aren't able to have the best serve there. Always tough still, maybe thinking about that first play. That for the beauty of volleyball, you're always rotating. Got to settle in for your serve. Maddie Malone sends it over for the Panthers. The Irish, good touch there, but great dig by the Panthers, and they'll send a serve out of bounds, and the Irish will get another point. And here's Schrader to send it back over, and that will go out of bounds down the court, and so the Panthers will get the ball right back. A nice back and forth matchup we've got right now for us as it's tied up here at six right here in South Bend. Panthers will send it over and the Irish will try to set something up. They'll just give it right back. Spike there, not able to be controlled by the Irish, and so the Panthers will take Another point there, and they'll take a lead, seven to six. Nice job by, by Heelman to find that gap in the Irish back line. Panthers will send it over. And a good play there. You had two girls going up looking to spike it, and it ended up being Nigo slamming it home for the Irish point. What a magnificent misdirection there by the Irish to get the Panthers' defense caught sleeping there on who is going to ultimately kill it. Nigo will serve it over. And she'll make a good dig there on that spike. The Irish trying to send it back, and line judge calls it in, and so the Panthers will take the lead yet again. Subs made for the Panthers as we'll now have Kylie Vaughn taking the serve here. And they'll go for the kill and they'll be successful as Nigo wasn't able to dig that one out. Yeah, what a great job by Cernikowski as she's able to just blow it by Nigo and Nigo's just not able to return it over. Vaughn will put a charge into that one. And a light touch there, and a great save by the Irish. Each side returning and making the correct play there. And that ball looked to be almost saved by the Panthers, but they weren't able to corral it as it hit the net, and the Irish will take a point. Yeah, that volley was all on Munson, the sophomore libero for the University of Notre Dame, laying out her body out and just always being where the ball is and being in perfect positioning for the Irish. Speaking of Munson, she will serve it back over now. And what a dive there by Caroline Muth to keep that ball alive. And the Panthers will Spike that ball into the dirt. That'll be a kill for them, and they will take a two-point lead now. And yeah, Miller just, once again, this Panthers offense is just finding the gap so far when it, majority of the Panthers points are coming where Panthers, where the Fighting Irish aren't. Panthers will send it back over to the Irish.
And there was yet another point for the Panthers as Fiona Schrader was not able to handle that kill. As Milwaukee's starting to pull away here as what was once a back and forth matchup is now a very strong lead for the Panthers. Nigo will save that serve. And the Panthers will get yet another point as they are now pulling away four points as another kill for them. And here's gonna be a look off of it. It's gonna go off right off of Mewith there and it's just not bad positioning there. Just wasn't able to get over far enough. Sarah Schrader with yet another serve. And yet another tough break there for the Irons. It was just a soft touch over the end. Yeah, and that number 14, Maddie Malone, was able to dink it in right between, right between the back line. And we are back. Let's take a quick look at the coaches for each squad. Mike Johnson will get the Irish into fighting form today, and he, as he's in his third season as head coach of the Irish, having led this Notre Dame program to back-to-back -to -back NCAA tournament appearances in his first two seasons. And we're back into the action here as the Irish will try to respond to a great run by the Panthers at the end before that timeout. Panthers trying to set something up, but that one is rejected and slammed home by Aubrey Hamilton. And that just shows you when your team goes out and gets a point after a timeout, definitely reassures Johnson that he took the timeout in the right fashion, and now is trying to push his team, get back in the momentum as it's 13-9 now. Zoe Nunez, the senior, will serve yet again. Irish hoping to get some luck and win back into their sails. Nunez will send it back over. Light touch there by the Panthers, and they are just able to get it over Hamilton, and they'll take a point. Miller did a great, great job, a nice little light tap. As you see right here, it's just gonna be a nice light tap right there, and it goes right down before the back line could even get to it. And yet another quick point for the Panthers. That was Jess Grabowski serving. And she'll serve yet again as the Panthers take a 15 to nine lead in this first set of action. Grabowski sends it over. Oh, and that is another great light touch by the Irish as Aubrey Hamilton is able to send one just over reach. And Hamilton says, I see what you're doing, Panthers, as it's right here in a nice light touch. We're going back and forth right now. and taken from the Panthers playbook. Hamilton will take this serve now. She'll send it back. Panthers stuck in their backcourt. They'll just try to play defense there. Oh, and that's unfortunate. A tough serve. Oh, Fiona Schrader wasn't able to send it over. It was blocked at the line. Blocked by Gertz there and getting up, timing it perfectly, and able to send it right back right here as beautiful timing, gets up, gets both hands up, makes sure she gets as much area covered so that she can send it right back to the Irish. Kaylee Blake now ready for the serve. Panthers try to set a, a kill up here, blocked at the line. Nigo with the s spike. Both teams going back and forth here, trying to set up offense. Light touch over the side is fielded by the Panthers, and a great dive there by the Irish. Nigo to touch it over. Nigo, another serve, and that one will go down. A good kill there for Nigo. Nigo tossing all of her power behind it and sending it through a defender as the defender right here just blowing it by number four, Heelman of the Panthers. Here now is Lindsay Miller with the serve for the Irish. She's a sophomore out of San Diego. Panthers trying to get a quick point back. And it's blocked at the line. That's another great play 
The Irish will take another point there. What a great job by Tarnoff to get her hands up and block it there to send it right back for a quick block. And with that, the Panthers will take a timeout now. 16 to 12 games so far. What are your takeaways thus far? As right now, it's Ari Miller controlling majority of the game for the Panthers, as we see right here, as she's been a menace at the net, sending in a kill there. A nice set, and once again, is finding those gaps between the front line and the back line of, of the Irish. She's had a good showing so far to very successful for a long time with Milwaukee, and she hopes to organize her team into a victory today in this last matchup of the Shamrock Invitational. And we're back into action now as Lindsey Miller will send this serve over. Panthers try to set something up and Zoe Nunez was unable to receive that and the Panthers will take a point out of the break. And Johnson once again is showing that, all right, I took a timeout for a good reason there as, she was a, as the Panthers are able to gain a point there to make it 17-12. Maddie Malone with the serve, Nigo with the dig. And that one will fall inbounds and so the Irish will get a point there. What a great job by number 14, Tarnoff, as she's able to find the back edge of the court. Here it is. And look, touches right on that wood right in the back there. What a beautiful job to thread the needle. Fiona Schrader with the spike here. The Irish trying to respond, and that ball will just go over the end line, and so the Panthers will take a point. As right there is going to be a miscue by Fiona Schrader, as just a miscue just hit a little too hard there. Bree Gertz will send it back over for the Panthers. And I believe that will, that point will go to the Irish as it looked like Nigo tried to send it over, was blocked, but luckily fell out of bounds. Yeah, blocked out of bounds there from the Panthers. Wasn't able to block it into play, blocked it onto the green part of the court. Nigo now will serve for the Irish. And a good spike there and a good kill for the Panthers as Nigo wasn't able to dig that one out. And once again, it's a Miller. I feel like we've been talking about her all this set as once again killing it and finding that open spot. I cannot stress it enough how crucial it is right now for the Panthers to find them. Kylie Vaughn will send it over for the Panthers. And a miscue there by the Irish. It looked like Caroline Muth just wasn't able to reach out enough, and the Panthers will now take a six-point lead, 20-14. to 14. Yeah, Muth thought it was going to be a nice little dunk when it actually had a little more power onto it to get in between her and Nigo. Vaughn to serve yet again. She'll send it back over. And that will work for the Irish as they uh, have a kill there. Looked like a deflection by the Panthers went out of bounds. And Johnson right now taking the time to talk to Tarnoff, the sophomore, as she gets subbed out of the game. Here's Haiti Monson sending it back over. Irish looking to set up an offense here. Good dig by the Panthers. Kill attempt here, not successful. Hedy Monson will set up her killer to send it back over. And another miscommunication there between Monson and Nigo as they just ran into each other. Yeah, just Monson and Nigo not being spatially aware of where they both were. Timeout taken by the Irish as they're gonna try to keep their feet under them and now with a 21 to 15 game. And for the Panthers, answering is Manny Malone, as she's been answering and been getting a majority of these points for the Panthers. As we see here, Manny Malone just finding 
the Irish defenders in finding when they're not in position or when they're ready to receive a ball. As we see right here, a nice little dunk in it. Just that miscommunication that we've talked about today from the Irish's front line and the back line just not communicating on the same wavelength so far. And you mentioned the miscommunication. That seems to be kind of a recurring issue. Definitely something Coach Mike Johnson will want to address um, between sets and try to get the Irish back on point. Exactly, and you have three minutes in between sets, and that's the beauty of volleyball. All right, if you, if Notre Dame does fall in this set, there, you take those three minutes, you're gonna work with them, you're gonna communicate to them that you have to be able to communicate with each other because as it's showing right now, they're not being able to communicate well enough as they are on the defensive side. On the offensive side, they're good. Defensive, they're a little shaky, unable to return it back over to the Panthers. So the Irish here will take their lumps and obviously still hopefully, or try to fight back in this set, but it'll be even more important that they respond in that second set. And for Milwaukee, just kind of keep going with the pace that they're on right now. They've been doing all the right things so far. Yeah, if you're Milwaukee, you don't really have to change anything. You lead 21-15, game's in, the ball's in your court. You just gotta play the game you've been playing. Don't play it with outs outside yourself, stay within yourself, and you'll be able to do well. So now we are back into action as Sarah Schrader will take a serve and send it over to the Irish side here. Schrader, a sophomore out of Sussex, Wisconsin. Nigo will save that one for the Irish. Sent back over to the other side. And a good block there, but it will go out of bounds, and so the Panthers will get the point. What we just saw the, the Panthers block out of bounds Two, two serves ago. Now, ultimately, the Fighting Irish have that happen as well as they block out of bounds. Schrader with another serve upcoming. The Irish will set it up Nigo unsuccessfully. And nearly an identical play is what we just saw. Exactly, the newly subbed in Sydney Bent for the Irish on that far side, just goes up for it and pushes the ball out of bounds there. So Schrader will have yet another serve. Nigo will take that one and the Irish will get a point there, a much needed point might I add because now it makes it 23-16 game. And nice, the, the, now the momentum's in your court if you're the Irish, keep it going. Have Nunez, who's set to serve here, just keep flowing on that point. Nunez coming out of Rockford, Illinois. She'll send this one back over. And the Panthers will try to respond, and that ball will go out, and so the Irish will get yet another much needed point, and Nunez will take the ball yet again. Exactly, keep the momentum. Nunez, who's serving phenomenally right now, keep it in her hands if you can, if you're the Irish. Panthers looking to set something up. That ball will go out, so the Irish will get yet another point. That's three straight for them, and it keeps them alive in this set. And here we'll take a look right here. What a beautiful job understanding that it's right out of bounds by the Irish defense. And once again, that timeout, we talked about communication. Looks right now that the Irish are communicating once again to one, one another. Yep, we have another timeout here, and I think it comes at a really important point for both teams. The Irish. Exactly, they've lacked that offensive communication, but we just saw in the last in the last three points that they were able to communicate at, with each other after that timeout. So if you're Mike Johnson, you did a great job calling that timeout, and now let's hope it continues with Zoe Nunez here. Nunez will send it back over to the Panthers' side. The Irish try to respond there. And a great save there by Nigo. Good dig. Slight touch just over the net. The Irish send it back. Panthers respond. Another dig there by Nigo. And a slight touch just trying to get it over. Not successful. Good block there by Nigo at the net. And that ball will just fall in. Close play there, but the Panthers will take the point. 
What a great job by both sides as we take a look here. It's going to fall right in there, right on that back line as that flagger points right down to the court. What a great job by both sides answering to each other's attack. Panther is now at 24. They only need one more to take this set. And that ball will fall as a good play there by Lindsey Miller to kill it there, and the Irish will stay alive. And the Irish stay alive here as the Panthers are one point away from taking the first set. Irish here need to keep the momentum, which has been on their side so far later in this set, to keep it rolling. Aubrey Hamilton will send this one over for the Irish. And the Panthers with a good play there. Aubrey Hamilton tried to respond with a dig of her own, but was unsuccessful. And Monson now will send it over to the Panther side. And a good block there, but I believe, and, and it will. I thought it was a net violation, but there's Miller sending it back over, and the Irish will take the point. Yeah, what a great job by Miller just to send it back over, and we talked about it. The blocking is, was going to be key for Notre Dame to get back in this match as they pick up their first point right from blocking. Monson will send the serve over. And that one will fall in. It looked like Maddie Malone thought it might go out, but it didn't, and so the Irish will get a 2-0 lead now. And we'll take a look right here, as she just thought it was gonna go right out of bounds, but finds the win right before the out-of-bounds line. Monson will send it back. Good save there by Malone. And she tries to dig that one out, Malone does, but she's unsuccessful, and the Irish will take a 3-0 lead now, so just the kind of start that we were, they were hoping for to, to get back into it. And like we talked about, the momentum Notre Dame had going in to the end of the first set was very beneficial to them, and they're keeping it going here. Monson sends it over to the Panther side. Irish trying to respond to a Panther volley. That one will go out of bounds, and so the Irish now will take their fourth point to start the, the set. Milwaukee, who in the beginning of first set looked confident, and they both, and they communicate with each other. Now they're looking discombobulated, and they look like they're trying to play catch up and not attacking. And the Irish hoping to ride Monson's hot hand so far. Good block there at the line by the Irish. And it's going to be another point for the Irish as they'll now take a 5-0 lead. And that'll be a timeout call by Milwaukee, the first of the set. Exactly. Johnson needed to call that timeout early because as her... And we are right back here at the Purcell Pavilion at the Joy Center in South Bend, Indiana, as the Irish are kicking on the Milwaukee Panthers. Here now is Monson. She'll send the serve back over. Panthers respond, and Monson with a really good dig there. Nigo with yet another dig for the Irish. And that one will, is unable to be saved by the Panthers as Kylie Riley Vaughn wasn't able to get a dig there and the Irish will take a point. As you can see here, number 12, Hamilton just sends it right in there, but a, and a Panther defender just could not get on it. And after that play, you just saw the anger out of Johnson from the Milwaukee bench. Monson sends another serve over. And despite their best efforts, the Irish are not able to get to that, and so the Panthers will take their first point of the set, and they'll finally be able to serve. Right, we take a look here. Just a miscue, couldn't set it in front of her, set it behind her, and just couldn't get it out in front so an Irish defender could play it over. Panthers send it over to the Irish side. Panthers now setting up a serve spike of their own. That one will go out of bounds, however, for the Irish, and the Panthers will get a second point of the set for themselves now. Here we go. Now we talked about the Irish having momentum. Now the Panthers have momentum. They're going to keep going and try and use these back-to-back -back points to fuel their comeback. Sarah Schrader sends it over to the Irish side.
Panthers setting up a spike that will go out of bounds. And so the Irish will now take a point and respond after two straight points scored by the Panthers. As Malone wasn't able to find the court there for the Panthers as it's gonna be a point there for Notre Dame. Caroline Muth now here to serve. Panthers set up a spike, but it's blocked at the line, and that's another point for the Irish. And we talked about it. Zoe Nunez right there on your screen, as we'll see it, jumps right up, gets her right hand on it, and sends it right back down. As we talked about, blocking was going to be a big part of this Notre Dame comeback, and it is so far. Muth sends it over to the Panthers' side. Light touch there, but the Irish are able to take it, and they'll send it back. And a dig and a very dig unsuccessful there and a kill by the Panthers. So they'll take a point and it's now three to eight. And Miller, who was the star of that first set, once again trying to get her team back into it as they pick up a point there with a nice kill. Jess Grabowski now to serve it over to the Irish side. Nearly a miscommunication there, and it appears that it will be a Panther point. And so Grabowski will serve it over yet again. Irish setting up something here. And that'll be a tip and a deflection and in. So the Irish will get a point. Aubrey Hamilton's able to find the court there and just kills it right into a dead space in that back line of the Panthers. Hamilton now will take the serve. And she'll send it over to the Panther side. And an unsuccessful block there was just kind of buried right by the net, and the Panthers will now take that point. Yeah, as the Irish just couldn't get in front of it, and when they did, it, it blocked themselves down into their own side, wasn't able to block over the net. Subs made for the Panthers, as now Carmen Hilleman will come in for the Milwaukee side. And we'll have Kaylee Blake serve this one over. She'll drive it over the net. And a miscommunication there by the Irish leads to a point for the Panthers. Yeah, Mew with a little off balance, just couldn't get her hand fully on top of it so that she could send it over the net, but ultimately spiked it into the, their side of the net. So Blake coming out of Burlington, Wisconsin, will send it over for the Panthers. And a light touch there, but that will fall out of bounds. Unsuccessful attempt by the Irish. And so Blake will take yet another serve as the Milwaukee comes back to a 7-9 deficit now. Good idea by Lindsay Miller there just for a light tap. We saw that it worked in the first set, but wasn't able to get it to communicate over to a point. We're back in action here as Blake gets ready to send another serve over. Nico with a great light touch there, just gets it out of reach of the Panthers, and they'll take a point for the Irish. And we'll take a look right here. We'll hit Nigo, nice little touch right on the left hand, able to sneak it right in between that front line and the back line. Notre Dame's able to get a point off that, 10-7. Now Lindsey Miller will be back to serve for the Irish, who now have a 10 to seven lead in this second set. Nigo with the spike, unsuccessful. Panthers return it. Irish trying to set something up. Panthers try to return it and it'll be deflected off an Irish defender and will go out for a Panther point. Nice job by number 14, Maddie Malone, just to power it by the Irish defenders to get it in there and get a nice tap so that the Panthers could pick up a point. Maddie Malone will now send this serve over. Light touch there by the Irish and they'll return it now, but that serve will go well out of bounds and the Panthers will get another point. Muth just put a little too much power on it there for the Fighting Irish. Timeout called by the Irish and probably a good time to take that timeout as well. 
and once again, as Milwaukee, who is down early here, answers and now with, is within one point, as Matty Malone has been leading the way for this Milwaukee comeback here again, as we'll see at the outside hitter, finding that miscommunication of the Irish all day and able to find Irish in there. It, she's able to tap it off of them as she dunks one in there, right there. Cool. She, she's just tapping it off there for the Irish who just then can't get a hold of it. Malone coming in with 10 kills so far and three digs. She currently has a 350 hit percentage as well, so she's definitely had a pretty good game and has been a good reason why Milwaukee has come back in this set. And this is the crazy pickup. She's a freshman right now and producing amazing numbers for Milwaukee. If you're Susie Johnson, you got out and got a phenomenal athlete for your team when you were recruiting last year. Malone with good height as well, as well coming in at six foot and coming out of Newark, Illinois, as we mentioned before. She's had a great game so far. Milwaukee is now only one point short of tying this set up after they took the first set 25 to 19. And so the Irish really want to kind of get their feet back under them if they want to try to survive in this set. And right now she has a 350 hitting percentage, the highest on the Milwaukee team. Malone will send this serve and drive it over for the Panthers. Received by the Irish who are trying to set up a serve there. Spike. Nigo will spike it over and it won't be received well by the Panthers, so she'll get a point and the Irish will serve. Great job by Nigo to power it through the Panthers' defense. And Johnson's moving her her players around as she just moves a Panther defender right into where Nigo last hit it. So he Nunez with the serve for the Irish. And there was an attempted block at the line there for the Irish and they'll get the point. It kind of ricocheted back and forth between Panthers and Irish defenders. As Nigo right there, able to get her hands up, times it perfectly and able to block it right down on the Panthers defense. Nunez will serve, but first we have a timeout by the official. So now the Irish take a three point lead. They came out into the timeout with only a one point lead. So hopefully they're building momentum at least is what they hope on their side. Exactly, building a little bit of momentum onto their side. As Johnson took that timeout and was able to communicate to his team and was able to get them back into it here as the referee seems to be looking as they found like a sticky spot on the court it appears. And this official timeout will give both sides a chance to regroup into this second set. That's right there as you don't wanna you wanna get stuck on that floor as you're just gonna get a nice floor burn there. Nice job by the maintenance staff here in South Bend to make sure that the court is all cleaned up and ready for action. This is only the first matchup between these two programs since 2002. Both meetings have resulted uh, in the Irish taking a 3-0 sweep. Obviously that's not possible today with the, the Panthers having already taken the first set, but there's some history behind this series so far. Exactly, if you're Johnson, as a motivation to your team saying, look, we played them in 2002. We're not the same team by no means, but it is motivation. We're up against them, use it. To preach it in the locker room. Use anything you can to get your girls fired up before a big match here. Zoe Nunez now will send this all over to the Panthers side. So the Irish try to set something up. Actually, they'll just play defense and send it back to the Panthers. And a block attempt there by Charlie Nico is unsuccessful as the Panthers will get the point. Yeah, nice job by Hillman to push it, to kill it right over the Irish blockers as they're able to pick up a point here and get within two. The Irish will receive this serve. And a good dig there by Munson. 
Nigo will just try to tip it over, but isn't able to be finished. Panthers setting something up now. Irish looking to respond. They'll just send it back to the Panthers. They'll send a kill that'll go out of bounds and the Irish will get the point. Great job by both teams there, volleying back and forth and countering to their attacks. But ultimately, a miscue by the Panthers gets the Panther gets the Fighting Irish a point. And a sub there is Jess Grabowski will now come in for the Panthers. And we'll have Charlie Nigo in to serve for the Irish. And a block attempt there by Lindsey Miller for the Irish at the net is unsuccessful and the Panthers will be on the board. As the Panthers pick up a point there and Hillman, who was a big part of that comeback that we saw, gets a point there and able to dink it in for the Panthers. And that serve just stays in bounds. None of the Irish tried to get an effort at it and so a nice job by Vaughn for a service ace there as she's able to find that left line on the back side. Vaughn with another serve. Driven just out of bounds on a spike there. And so Vaughn will take her third serve in a row. And now Milwaukee has tied this game up at 13. Now they're completely back in this ball game. Vaughn sends it over the Irish side. And a great dig there by Zoe Nunez for the Irish. Tipped at the net, set up for the Irish. And a great block there, and that will be called in bounds, so the Irish will get the point. Great job by the blocking defense of Muith there to get her hands up as we'll take a look here. Great job, gets her right hand on it and able to get it in play. And, and she's pointing to it right there, trying to convince the flagger like it's in. Monson here with the serve for the Irish. She'll send it back to the Panther side. That one was driven in and by who, Ari Miller. And who else on the kill than Ari Miller right there? Killing it right in to that empty dead space that the Irish produced. Sarah Schrader now with the serve for Milwaukee. Charlie Nigo with the dig. The response by the Irish, light tip. And a drive there and that one will be deflected and go out of bounds. So the Panthers will get another point and they'll take the first lead of this set so far, 15 to 14. Miller again, and will once again have another just cleaning the floor, getting the sweat off of it, and making sure right off the end and the D in the middle of the logo there. So Schrader will be back to serve yet again for the Panthers. She'll send it over to the Irish side. A response by the Panthers now. Irish looking to respond with something, and they'll drive it home. That was Aubrey Hamilton with a kill. Hamilton tossing all of her power behind it and sending it right in to an open space between the front line and the back line of the Panthers and able to kill it right there. So now Caroline Muth will send it over to the Panthers side. And a good block there, but that'll go out of bounds. Lindsey Miller is unable to get that one inbounds and so the Panthers will now take the lead yet again. And sometimes that's the pr problem with blocking. Sometimes based on the ball's trajectory, you might not be able to get it in play, but falls a Milwaukee point there as Milwaukee now leads. The Irish try to respond. And an unfortunate block there is Lindsey Miller just wasn't able to get enough off of it. And yeah. another point for the Panthers. Yeah, Malone able to blow it right by the blocking defense of the Fighting Irish to get it into an area between the back line and the front line. Jess Grabowski sends it over to the Irish side and driven home there by Aubrey Hamilton. Another kill for her. Is that thing in Chicago yet? That thing is driven all the way down into the ground at six feet under as it, she just tossed everything she had behind it. 
That's Hamilton's seventh kill of the day as she sends the, this serve over for the Irish. And blocked at the line there by Lindsey Miller, but that one will go out of bounds. And so the Panthers will get a point and now go up by two. And we're starting to see this common common play from the Panthers defense as they'll just blow it right by the blockers and just it's ultimately tipping off of the Irish and able and because of how hard it hits and the tip it's just rolling out of bounds into the green area of the court. A brief stoppage as we get things organized here and now the Panthers will send it over. Nigo with the attempted kill and she'll be successful as the Panthers weren't able to receive that one well. Charlie Nigo able to once again get a nice kill there and attack for the Irish to get them back in it as they're down by one. Lindsay Miller now to take the serve for the Irish. As now Miller will drive it over. And a great dive there, just kind of disorganized by the Panthers. And a good point score there by Sammy Lockwood. She'll get the kill on that one as the Irish will now tie it up at 18. Lockwood gets into the game and why not welcome yourself into a game with a kill as the miscommunication opened up a spot in the Panthers defense and was able to place it right there. So now the Panthers trying to respond. And they'll respond by killing that one right out of bounds. And so the Irish will get the point. My apologies. That was the a Milwaukee point, actually, as they'll now take the lead. So it'll be 19 to 18 as they'll send it back over. Irish trying to set something up. Nigo will spike it over. Panthers just playing defense. Another serve spiked by Nigo, and that one isn't able to be received well, and the Irish will get the point and tie it up. Nigo tossing everything she has behind it and sends it home and gets a point so that now it's a tied ball game. Zoe Nunez will send this serve over. Blocked on the net, but it's going to be a double hit by Sammy Lockwood as the Panthers will take the point now. And they'll take a 20 to 19 lead. As uh, now, if you're Milwaukee, just keep rolling with the momentum here as you just got a point off a block. Keep it going and try and keep yourselves in this game. Panthers send it over to the Irish side and it's blocked at the line. And they'll get yet another point to now take a two point lead, 21 to 19. And we'll take a look at it right here. Nigo trying to blow it right by, but number six, Miller is able to get up in time and send it right on back as Monson goes diving right across your screen there. As Miller has been playing phenomenal so far, we've talked about her all day so far, as Miller has been keeping it going, as we'll see here, right there, just sending it home on Nigo. Then again, right in between that front and that back line, and Miller sends it there again in that dead space. She is finding the Irish where they aren't once again, there in a nice little dunk. Mill on the back side and keeping it inbounds. Right, she's currently second on the team with eight kills so far in this matchup. And it's really been a show of Malone and Miller so far for Milwaukee. Exactly, those are the two names we talked about. We talked about Malone in the open and then Miller came out here with eight kills and one block so far. And Miller's just been putting on a show and keeping the Milwaukee team in it when they were down Five nothing early on. She was able to keep their team, keep her team in it and keep it going. And now routed them to where they now lead 21-19, trying to close it out here in set two. Milwaukee's gonna have plenty of time with both Miller and Malone in the future. Miller obviously only a junior and Malone as a freshman. So 
This is a duo that will be together for the foreseeable future. Power by the Panthers defense again. And there was just a little bit miscommunication on the Panthers defense there. Bodies were flying everywhere trying to compensate for that kill by Nigo. Nigo, the six foot senior out of Chicago, Illinois, is ready to serve this one up. She'll drive it over. Block at the line by Irish blockers. We'll try to set something up. They'll just set it over. Good save there by Monson. Panthers looking for a kill and blocked at the line there by Sammy Lockwood. What a great job by Lockwood getting her hands up and blocking it right there as we'll take a look. As a nice little tap, sends it over, Lockwood jumps. And excuse us, it's gonna actually be Hamilton there as we see on the replay, as it's a team of Hamilton and Lockwood both getting their left and their right hands in there. Hamilton so far has two blocks. And yeah, as you mentioned, both Hamilton and Lockwood have really kind of come together in this set to give the Irish some power. Lockwood, who wasn't a start in the set, came in, subbed in, and has made a, made a phenomenal addition to this lineup. But as well as Charlie Nigo, she's been staying on top of her game all day, showing some phenomenal power through the outside hitter. We see there, look, gets it right in there. And the miscommunication she takes advantage of consistently through the Panthers defense. And just right there, sending one just so hard off a of hand that you just can't play it. And able, to, once again, the power she has behind her right now as she swings her right hand through is just phenomenal. This set now tied at 21 all. Panthers Wait. looking to take a 2-0 set lead. A commanding 2-0 set lead, might I add. Exactly. When you see that 2-0 set lead, that seems like a mountain you have to climb if you're the Irish. But if you're able to walk out of here one and one, you take a deep breath, and it's not, it's a hill, maybe not a mountain anymore. The Irish came out firing on all pistons to start this set, but it's been back and forth since around 10 all or so as Nigo right now has nine kills and eight digs, and she's set to serve here. As Nigo drives it over. And a great dig there by the Irish. Miscommunication, and it looks like the Panthers will get a point. As what a... That just shows you the energy on the Milwaukee bench as they understand how crucial every point is. After a point, they're all jumping up and down and they create their own huddle. And that's what Milwaukee, the players on the court need to utilize is their bench. It's a pretty Irish packed gy gymnasium right now. Use the momentum they have from the bench. Riley Vaughn out of Halley, Wisconsin will send that serve over. Now the Panthers will get another point and that'll make it 23-21. Now, if you're the Irish, you have to answer here. This is a very big point in the, in the long run of this entire match. Vaughn sends it back over. Irish respond, and they'll get the point off her deflection. Hamilton sending, sending everything she has behind her, and now gets the Irish within one here, 23-22. Monson coming out of Lyle, Illinois. She is a sophomore, and she'll serve this one. And blocked at the line. And that'll be another point for Milwaukee. So they were now at set point, 24 to 22. As we'll take a look here, the block just, Mewitt can't get it down onto the other side, but ultimately ricochet is onto her side as this is and this is the match point, or set point here, rather. Irish try to set something up. Panthers responding, blocked, and that'll go out of bounds. And so, Milwaukee won and sets to Milwaukee. And here are some sets through two. And kills Milwaukee is leading. And like we talked about at the beginning of the second set, Notre Dame using their strong suit, which is the blocks. They have seven compared to their three, and digs that were all even on digs. And then hitting percentage, Milwaukee leads with 
208, and Notre Dame is shortly behind at 167. But right now, that second set was very encouraging for Mike Johnson and Notre Dame. If they're able to articulate it into a lead and try and hold, that's the biggest feedback I bet you Johnson gave to his team. Try and hold the lead if they can. So now the Panthers will send it over to the Irish. Irish are now fighting for their lives in this set. Ego will set up an attack responded by the Panthers. And that'll be a point for the Panthers as a deflection by the Irish went out of bounds. Yeah, deflection there by the Irish as number 16, Abby Conan, was able to get it by the Irish defense. So the Panthers will send it back over. They'll try to set something up as well. Monson will set up an attack of the Irish zone and that is deflected at the line and Aubrey Hamilton will get a kill there. A nice job by the Irish and Aubrey Hamilton as she's able to get a kill and power it by the Panthers defense as well as a sub come in here. Fiona Schrader is now in for the Irish. She's a freshman coming out of Arkany, Iowa, and she will serve. Good dig there for the Panthers, and they'll respond with an attack of their own. Now they're trying to set up something. The Irish with a drive there, and that will go. It'll be a point for the Irish. As Grabowski laid out there, for the Panthers, but wasn't able to get enough hands on it as it was all Munson able to blow it by. So now Schrader back to serve yet again. So we'll drive it over to the Panther side. Blocked at the line there by Hamilton. And that'll go out of bounds for a Panther point. As we saw in the graphic to begin the set, Notre Dame leads with blocks. Sometimes their blocks, when you go up for that block, they're not able to get within the court there. Sometimes the sacrifice you have to make to try and attempt to block. So now Sarah Schrader will send it over for the Panthers. Blocked at the net. Panthers setting up an attack. And they'll drive that one right out of bounds. And that'll be a point for the Panthers. It looked like it was a deflection off of Nigo. And so they'll take a point. Although it's only a one-point lead, it feels like all the momentum right now is for Milwaukee. You hear them a little bit louder when they get a point. Schrader will send the one right over the back line, and so the Irish will get the point, and that's a point that they needed. A service error there by Schrader as she just pushed it too far past the left line. So now Aubrey Hamilton will be back to serve for the Irish as she drives this one over. Panthers setting up an attack blocked by Nigo at the net. Panthers responding again, dig by Nigo. And driven hard there by Aubrey Hamilton with a kill and the Panthers will now go down three to four to the Irish. Hamilton, a common theme all day, tossing the power she has behind the ball and just hoping that the Panthers can't play it as now the Irish lead. Hamilton leads the Irish with 10 kills so far today. Panthers setting up an attack, blocked at the net. And that one was tried to be dug out by Nigo, but she just slammed it into the net and so point for the Panthers. As Nigo right there just couldn't place her hands up enough to get the ball over the net, but accidentally just places her hands more at a line drive position to drive the ball right into the net there. Jess Grabowski descended over for the Panthers. Monson will just play defense and send it back to the Panthers. And that serve will be driven out of bounds, so point Irish. And this has a lot of similarities between that first set, as we'll see right here as they'll send it back over and it'll just roll right out of bounds. Just too much 
not enough in the court there. Lindsey Miller will send it over to the Panthers. Blocked at the net and saved. Now Nigo will get a kill on that one as she drives that one home. As Nigo right there drives one directly into the ground here at Personal Pavilion as now they take a commanding two, six to four lead. Miller will be back to serve. Panthers looking to attack. And they'll get a point there and a kill. And so they'll be back to serve. As we'll see it right here, a nice misdirection play by the Panthers as you think I'm gonna set it this way? Nope, I'm gonna set it behind me and is able to catch Notre Dame Irish sleeping. The Panthers will send it over. A good dig there by Kira Schmidt. And a kicked ball there and somehow stayed alive for the Panthers. Light tip there. Panthers in disarray. They'll get set up again. Nigo will drive it over. And that'll be another kill for Nigo off a of deflection. And you can see Susie Johnson in the background throughout the entire set, hands on head. She's living and dying with her team here, showing and then you have Mike Johnson on your screen right now who's coaching his players. Both coaches going back and forth with each other and both have not s sat down since that last time out in the second set. Zoe Nunez drives it over to the Panthers. An attempted dig there by Kiera Schmidt just went out of bounds and so the Panthers will get the ball right back. A nice job by Malone right there to send it right into the Irish defense and the Irish not able to make a play. Maddie Malone back to serve. So drive it to Kiera Schmidt who will get another dig and a good light tip over there by Nigo and that'll be a point for the Irish. She'll be back to serve after this. Nigo commanding right now so far in this third set, taking the Irish on her back and says, let's do it. We got two more in us to try and take this match. Nigo back to serve now. She'll drive this one over to the Panthers and they'll try to get something set up. Nigo with a good dig there, but that will go right out of bounds. Good attempt, wrong area. Yeah, Nigo just couldn't turn her arms on it enough to try and force it back into play, but where her arms were turned, forced it right into the scorer's table. So Bree Gertz will send it over for the Panthers. And the Irish try to respond with an attack, but that serve will go out of bounds, and so the Milwaukee will tie it up. As it looks like we'll have a challenge here, potentially. Yeah, so they're challenging the touch on the play. The Irish are hoping that there was a deflection there. And As so we'll, we'll take a quick break in the action, but 8-8 eight eight so far, takeaway so far from this third set. As we'll see what they're looking at right here on your television screen. We'll see what they're looking at. So this is the live output from the VAR as what the referee is seeing right down at the scores table. This is what you're seeing on your couches and in your homes. As they're looking for somewhat of a touch as the Irish are challenging as if you look right on that right hand side, yep, perfectly zoomed in, will go and you somewhat see the hand go back. I think it's gonna be a tip here as you see that finger go back on that left hand of number four, Heelman. Definitely a tough play to review there. And the referee is now back. And he will call it a deflection, so point Irish. A nice job by Johnson to challenge there to get that point. And he understands every point. It's so crucial in this contest. So take that one off the board for Milwaukee and put it back onto the Irish's score. Now Monson will be back to serve this one. Block there at the line by Miller. 
Block attempt again by Kiera Schmidt, but she is unsuccessful. And so the Panthers will take the point. Yeah, nice job by Cohen just to power through the Irish blocking as they just can't get a tap on it as Johnson's going up and down his sidelines right now talking to Mewith right now is just trying to communicate how to work these blocks effectively, I can only imagine. Bradley Vaughn sends over a serve for the Panthers and each side trying to respond. Light tip over and that will hit the line. So the Irish will get the point and will now go up 10 to eight. Yeah, a pan number 11, Sir Nikowski, hits the antenna, which is out of bounds, and if you touch it, it, it does rule as an out of bounds touch, pushing Notre Dame now 10 to eight. Fiona Schrader now back to serve. As the Irish have a 10 to eight lead in this, the third set of this match, as the Panthers currently took the first two sets, and a good serve there by Schrader, as the Irish will get the point. What a phenomenal service ace from Schrader, as we can see right here on your television screen. Finds that dead space we're talking about between the front line and the back line, and right there is able to push it in where no one can go. And a timeout called, and... Welcome back to South Bend, Indiana, as we are now have an 11-8 game with Milwaukee leading the Fighting Irish. We now have Zoe Nunez back to serve for the Irish. Panthers try to respond, but it's blocked of the line by Lindsey Miller, and the Irish will get the point. Yeah, the Panthers offense just tried to send an attack over to the Irish side, but finds the attack right into the net. That's Fiona Schrader back for the Irish to serve. And an attempt to save and salvage a point there by the Panthers is successful. Great, but great job by Notre Dame exploiting that miscommunication they saw on that the previous uh, passing of the Panthers so now the Irish will take a five point lead and they'll be up 13 eight with Schrader back to serve yet again. That one won't clear the net and so the Panthers will get the point and the ball back. That's an unforced error if you're Notre Dame, you just can't have that in a live or die, a live or die set here as they're down two sets to nothing to Milwaukee with an early lead. Now Sarah Schrader will come in for Milwaukee and she'll serve it. So one Schrader to the other. And there's Hamilton is just able to get that point in and so the Irish will get yet another point. And once again, Aubrey Hamilton making her presence known. Once you think she goes silent, she says, hold on, I'm still in this ball game as she sends a kill right there, 14-9. That was Hamilton's 12th kill of the afternoon as she will send that serve over. And a kill there for the Panthers as they'll take the point and respond to the Irish's lead. A nice job by Ari Miller to find the spot between Monson and Hamilton on the right side of the court and realize that Hamilton was playing up a little bit, realizing that there was a nice big gap between Monson and the right side of the court. And that ball will fall inbound, so the Panthers will get another point. Irish thought that might clear, but it didn't. Yeah, a little miscommunication there from the Irish as just no one really called who was going to play the ball. Grabowski back to serve yet again. Irish just playing defense. Panthers looking to set something up. Blocked at the net by Miller. Blocked again at the net by Miller, and that'll be a point for the Irish. And you can just feel the life get right back in to it, as we'll see it right here. Great job by Nunez, getting her hands over the net, and you can see how much passion she has when she realizes how big this point is in a live or die set. 
Right, as you said, that block was actually by Nunez. Miller ha did have the first block, and now she is back to serve this one up to the Panthers. Panthers on the attack, a light touch. Irish trying to save themselves. Now the Panthers trying to do the same. Both teams just trying to get organized. Tip and deflections from both sides. And now a kill there by Charlie Nigo. Who have we been talking about all day? Charlie Nigo sends a kill right there. And as it will be a timeout from Milwaukee as Notre Dame is just starting to pull away as a 16-11 lead. And Johnson, who's fired up with his team as well, as Nigo's just been playing phenomenal so far this game, and especially in these in this last set, as we'll see Nigo here, the outside hitter, just has been playing phenomenal and just tossing everything she has behind the ball to make it hard for the Panthers defense to play it back to the fighting Irish. Nigo currently with 13 kills, so she has just been all over the court so far this afternoon. And just She's finding, she isn't finding gaps necessarily, but she's finding tips off of the Panthers' defense and making it hard for other, for the Panthers to play it. Not only does she have 13 kills, but she also has those 10 digs, as the graphic shows, which demonstrates that she could really play both offense and defense. Exactly, Nigo has been such a crucial part of this Irish team today as she's like you said playing both sides of the ball it's not just her offensive ability although that's the glitz and glamour it's the digs and digging that ball out to keep her team alive to maybe even get set for a kill so we'll now come back from the break with the Irish leading 11 to 16 Lindsay Miller will be back to serve for the Irish Panthers hoping to use that timeout to regroup and stay alive in this set. Miller will drive it over. Panthers setting up a nice touch. Miller with a great dig. And that will be point Panthers. Looked like a bit of a miscommunication there by the Irish. Yeah, Irish just couldn't get on the same wavelengths there, resulting in a Milwaukee point as Hillman's able to cause that miscommunication. And Monson will come in for Miller for the Irish, and Kaylee Blake will be back to serve for the Panthers. Charlie Nigo with a serve. And a block there at the line. The Irish just trying to stay alive. Panthers setting up an attack. Blocked at the net there, and the Irish will get the point. Zoe Nunez there with the block. Zoe Nunez again coming up clutch right in that front line at the net, tossing both hands as we'll see it right here, timing it perfectly, jumping up and getting that right hand on it to send it right back down. And you'll see her once again feeling the point as Notre Dame leads 17 to 12 here. Nunez now back to serve. And another block there. An attempted save there by the Panthers, but they're unsuccessful. And the Irish will get another point and go up by six now. Lockwood, the junior out of Cary, Illinois, sends that one back to the Panthers as Notre Dame now takes an 18 to 12 lead. Nunez to drive this one. And a great serve there as she'll get her third point in a row and the Irish will go up by seven now. Nunez with a nice service point ace there. As Notre Dame will take a nice quick little second to communicate with each other as Nunez sets back up again. Milwaukee will make subs as Mil Marissa Clemen will come in. Nunez sends that over to the Milwaukee side. They're setting up an attack, a dive, and unable to keep that in. It was Charity McDowell making a dive there for the Irish, but they couldn't save it, and so a point for Milwaukee. 
McDowell trying to pancake there. That's when you let your hand try and go down, have the ball tap on top of it. Pancake there, but just isn't able to get it to another Irish defender. Now the Panthers trying to set up an attack. Slam home there by McDowell, and they will tip off the net, and they're going to call it Point Panthers. So now we'll have Manny Malone back to serve for the Panthers. That's a name we've talked about a lot today. And her and Ari Miller of the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee team has been vital. That serve, however, will go out of bounds, and so the Irish will get the point. They'll take a six-point lead now, up 14 to 20 in this, the third set of this match. Nigo, and I love Johnson peering in, having a nice little communication where he wants her to place this as he's pointing over there saying, hey, see the zone. Find where you're going to place it right now. Nigo now with the serve. Light touch by the Panthers. They're trying to get something going still. Great dig there by Nigo. And that serve will go out of bounds, and so it'll be another point Irish as they'll go up by seven yet again. And now 21-14. This is the Irish team that looks like they're living or dying on this set. They understand how crucial it is that they have to win this or they're going home not winning a single game in their own Invitational. Eagle will drive that one over. Blocked at the line, but that'll be a block right out of bounds. So the Panthers will now get the point and cut it to a six-point deficit. Yeah, number 16, Abby Cohn, we've talked about it, has been really good at powering it through a block to force the Irish blockers to play it out of bounds. Panthers will send it over to the Irish side. And that's going to be a net violation. And that'll be another point for the Panthers as they'll cut it to a five-point deficit now. Now you have momentum if you're the Panthers. Continue on it, continue use the violation to your advantage and continue to make a move. Marissa Kleeman with the serve. Irish setting up an attack. Panthers responding and Nigo isn't able to dig that one out and they'll get the point. So the Panthers We'll take another serve now, and Kleeman will be back yet again. Nice job by Hillman there to send it over to Nigo. Just too far down on the ground where Nigo was positioning for her to fully make a nice play on the ball. Kleeman to drive this over to the Irish side, but she can't get it over the net. So the Irish will bounce back with another point. Although make it 23-17. As the Irish lead 22-17 here. They, you just can't get too cocky here. Although you just have this lead, you can't play with, play like you have a large lead. This, although it's a big lead, you gotta stay within yourself and continue playing your game. Monson will send it over to the Panther side. Blocked at the net, but blocked out of bounds. We've seen that quite a few times yet for the Irish today. So Milwaukee will get the point. And like I said, 22-18, continue playing your game. It, Notre Dame is a blocking team as we've seen throughout this game. Sometimes the block is gonna have to roll out of bounds. So you just gotta stay in it and continue playing your game. And now Milwaukee just trying to stay alive, but they're gonna be unsuccessful. So the Irish will get the point. Yeah, Grabowski's her entire foot came across the middle court line, which is illegal, giving Notre Dame the point as Notre Dame's two points away from it taking the third set to, ma to make it two to one. So now Fiona Schrader back to serve for the Irish. As she will drive it over. And a block there. That was Lindsay Miller yet again. And what a job by Lindsay Miller. And like we've talked about, although sometimes that block can go out of bounds, it can also give you a great benefit and get you inbounds as Notre Dame's one point away from cleaning this set up. So Schrader will drive it over looking for that lucky last point. It won't come there, however, as that one We'll go just 
out of bounds. And that'll be a point Panthers and they will be alive in this set. Both coaches using a little bit of a sub time to talk to their team and understanding how crucial this volley is. Sarah Schrader will send it over to the Irish side. Blocked at the net. First time, the second time will get through and that'll be a kill for the Irish and they'll take the set. So Monson will send it over for the Irish to the Panthers side. And there'll be a deflection out of bounds at the net and so the Panthers will get the point. Nice job by Cohen as we talked about. She has a great job of forcing the deflection out of bounds through and Johnson seems to be riding her. Bree Gertz with the first serve for the Panthers and that will be a kill for the Irish as the Panthers aren't able to corral that one. Yeah, Muth just answers theirs, tosses it. Everything she has is it's a quick sub out there before she, she doesn't play in the back side, but a nice kill before she gets subbed out. And in comes Fiona Schrader, who will now be the one to serve this one up. That one, however, will be Point Panthers as that'll hit the net and go out. As the yeah, Schrader just couldn't keep it in bounds there as it ends up being a service error and now Milwaukee takes a 2-1 lead. So now Riley Vaughn will be the one to send it over for the Panthers. Panthers setting up an attack, but to no avail as that one will go out. And who else but Cohen once again finding a deflection off of a fighting Irish player and Milwaukee now takes a two point lead. So now Vaughn is back to serve yet again. Light touch there blocked at the net. Nigo will send it back over. Two dives there, Nigo will send it back over yet again. The Panthers trying to set something up. Nigo with a dig there. Irish just playing all defense here. Nigo with another dig. And that one will stay alive for the Panthers. But not for long as there will be a kill there by the Irish. What a beautiful job by both teams scrambling. As we see here, Hamilton will just jump up and send it down there. And now the Irish will make it a 3-2 set. As Audrey Hamilton is back to send this one over to the Panthers side. Blocked at the net. And it's going to be a point for the Irish as they'll tie this one up. Schrader looks to have been caught in some miscommunication between Monson about who's going to get it, and then at the last second, Schrader just puts her arm on it, but not enough to get it over. And it looks like we're going to have a timeout here on the court. We'll have a review, rather, here as the referee will go over to the monitor. Ultimately ends in a replay, so it's going to go back. It's going to be like it never happened, and they're just going to redo it again. So Hamilton will be back to serve for the Irish. Panthers on the attack and blocked there at the line by Lindsay Miller and a point for the Irish. Great job by Miller to time it perfectly. She's able to get her hands up, and we'll see it right here. Look. Bang, right on her right hand, sends it right down, timed up, jumped, and Nunez, who's even feeling it for her teammate right now, as once again, live or die, now tied. Hamilton to serve yet again. Panthers setting up, blocked there by Hamilton, and it'll work yet again. Pardon me, that was Miller with another block, and the Irish will get another point. As a miscommunication there from the Panthers' defense, as they're just not able to get hands on the ball there as it Everyone was crowning the front part of the court and no one was in the back when they played it. Audrey Hamilton to send it back over for the Irish yet again. Irish responding. 
Panthers coming back with it. Blocked yet again at the net. Panthers coming back. Nigo with a spike. And it's going to be point Panthers. The whistle was blown early on that one. That was going to be a double hit. And Johnson, as Johnson's giving the, the high official a piece of his mind about making that double touch call. But Sarah Schrader will now be back for Milwaukee to send this one over. Panthers on the attack. That one will go out, and so the Irish will get the point and will get the serve back. As you'll see Malone right on your screen there. Couldn't get it in bounds there. But her and Ari Miller have been key. If you can get Malone or Miller, if you're Milwaukee, to get fired up, start rallying on a couple points, Milwaukee can try and turn the tables like they did in the second set. Lindsay Miller now to serve for the Irish. Dig there by the Panthers is unsuccessful and the Irish will get the point yet again. Good serve by Miller. And a miscommunication from, from the Panthers on who is gonna attack it, but Miller thinking three steps ahead and able to figure out where they're not gonna be. Miller will drive it over. Panthers on the attack. Blocked at the net. Just gets it over. Irish looking to have something going and Nigo will get the kill yet again. What a jump by Nigo. She sends everything she has behind it and it, it is just a phenomenal powerhouse there. And there's another timeout. So we will go to a quick break, four to seven. Welcome back here to the action in this fourth set between the matchup between Notre Dame and Milwaukee. Milwaukee took the first two sets and Notre Dame took the last and they now lead seven to four, now seven to five after Lindsey Miller just sent that serve too far. Yeah, just put a little too much power on it, resulting in a service error for Miller as now Milwaukee climbs back within two. So Jess Grabowski back to serve it for Milwaukee. Driven home there by Sammy Lockwood. There with the kill. The junior from Cary, Illinois, used her 6-3 height to an advantage and got that point. What a beautiful misdirection by Sammy Lockwood there to fool the Panthers' defense. So Zoe Nunez back to serve it for the Irish. And the Panthers now will be the ones getting the kill. As the Panthers are able to pick up a point and keep within that two point range. If both teams can keep within two points of each other, no matter who has the lead, it's gonna be a tight contest because of how back and forth these two teams have been throughout the contest. In comes some subs for Milwaukee as Kaylee Blake will come in and she will serve. Also coming in is Carmen Hilleman. And now Blake We'll drive it over to the Irish side. Panthers setting up an attack and that one will be blocked, but will be blocked out of bounds. So point Panthers. As we talked about, it's sometimes what you have to sacrifice if you're gonna be a blocking team like Notre Dame is and how heavily they block that you're gonna have to, that balls are gonna go out of bounds. Blake will send it over to the Irish side. Nigo tried to go for the kill. It was blocked to the line, but hey, it was blocked out of bounds, and the Irish will get the point. Exactly. Gertz there tries to block for the Panthers, but ultimately blocks it out of bounds and into the green area closer to your side of the television screen. And we've seen that happen quite a few times to the Irish today, so I'm sure they feel very happy to see it happen to the <laughs> Panthers now. As Nigo drives that one over, and the Irish try to set something up but the attempted kill will be deflected and it'll go point Irish. It'll be a point Irish at first. I think the Panthers bench thought it was their point and then they realized that Hamilton forced it to touch 
a Panthers defender there. So now Nigo will send it over and he'll just tip over the net and go down for a point. So successful there by Nigo. We'll see it. It's just a little miscommunication, a nice little tap. They weren't expecting her. Nigo, the powerhouse, she has been all day, has a nice little tap and is able to hit the break there for a little bit to drop it right in. Nigo will now send it back over. And that one will go out of bounds. An attempted kill by Mandy Malone was unsuccessful and the Irish will get another point. Timeout taken by Milwaukee as the Irish take now a five point lead and they make it 12 to seven. As it's been a big part, Notre Dame who was only up by two has now extended that lead as a big part of that was Charlie Nigo. The outside hitter has been playing phenomenal so far today as she's been tossing power behind it, but then also when it's necessary, giving it a nice little touch here. You'll just see the straight power right there on your television screen. Then again, the power that is just she is producing off of her right arm is ridiculous today. A nice little misdirection there as Nigo's always ready to set it over. Nigo currently has 15 kills on the afternoon. She has been all over the place so far. And you see right there, Nigo just tossing the power she has behind it. And it's just electrified this offense for the Fighting Irish. When Nigo is playing strong, you feel a little extra beat in the arena for the Irish, and that's causing a nice momentum shift, which as in the early sets was Milwaukee, now seems to be on the Fighting Irish side. Nigo currently has a 452 hit percentage as well, so she's been very efficient. The Irish currently lead both teams at hit percentage actually with a 225 hit percentage Milwaukee comes in with a 173 hit percentage. So despite that, the Irish obviously find themselves down two sets to one in this matchup. But they're looking to change that in this set and tie it up if possible. And who else starts to serve than Nigo here? And this is exactly who Mike Johnson wants to serve to come from. Nigo will drive it over, just a light touch. And it will be Point Irish yet again, making it a 13 to seven game. And you just see the emotion out of the Fighting Irish right now. After every point, you're seeing the girls on the court jump up and down and understand how crucial every point is. The Panthers looking to respond to get something going yet again. Monson with a good dig there. Panthers trying to respond, trying to put something together. Another dig by Nigo. That one will stay in, however, and the Panthers will get a kill and a point. A kill and a point, a much needed point if you're Milwaukee as they need to get back in this as they're down 13-8 here. So Matty Malone will now serve this one up. Monson with the dig. Irish trying to get something going. Saved by Greg Gowski. And blocked at the net. And that was Carmen Hellman. And so the Panthers will get to serve yet again. Uh, Hellman keeping the me momentum on Milwaukee's side. Here's Malone, she'll drive it over. The Irish trying to get something going. Grabowski with a dig. Blocked at the net, sent back over. Tipped at the net, and that'll fall in bounds, so point Panthers, and they'll now make it a three-point deficit. Yeah, well, Milwaukee, like I was talking about, now has the momentum here as they're keeping it on their side as they're trying to chase Notre Dame. Malone sends it over. The Irish with a light tip, Grabowski with a great save. Dig there by Nigo. Dig there by Nigo again. Blocked at the net. Nigo sets it up. Another save. Twice. And it's tipped around at the net. Irish still alive. What a beautiful series there. 
Saved by Malone. Just tipped over. And that one will finally fall, Point Panthers, but what a wild series there going back and forth for each side. Gertz able to finally kill it there as Johnson's talking to his team, understands that this lead that they once had is now shrinking, and he's talking, he's talking to Hamilton, just discussing about every, what you need to have accomplished here to keep this lead. 13-11 now, Notre Dame leads. So Maddie Malone back to serve yet again. She'll drive it to the Irish side. Grabowski tries to set something up. Dig there and a save. They'll send it back over and that one will fall. Point Irish, Aubrey Hamilton with the kill. What a great job by Hamilton. Finding the dead space in between some Panthers defenders as she's able to place it right in and there. It doesn't give it as much power as we've seen, but not en enough, but just a beautiful amount. Monson now, she'll serve it up. Tipped at the line, but saved. Irish will send it back over. Light tip by the Panthers. Monson will set it up. A kill attempt here. Blocked at the line, sent back, blocked. Hit off the net and that would fall Point Panthers. As they are now within two again. And once again, it was Hilleman as she sends it back and Notre Dame just couldn't get it up in time because of how back and forth the blocking was there at the net. So now just doing some court maintenance yet again, making sure everything is not slippery and dry. Panthers now trailing by two, 12 to 14 in this, the fourth set of the match. They'll send it over. And there was Lindsay Miller trying to drive home a kill, but that'll just be blocked at the net and point out of bounds. As, as while we're just talking about her kills, she has 13 digs as well. She's playing both sides of the ball very effectively for the Panthers. So for every Charlie Nigo performance out there. There has Maddie Malone countering for Milwaukee. It, it, it really is Nigo versus Malone right now if we're looking at the two power, power players on each side. They both are countering to each other as whoever is leading is taking the potential and putting their teams on their back and carrying them through. A good set here so far as the Irish had a lead and now I've seen it Dwindle to nothing as we have a tied matchup here. And this is very common to the second set in which Notre Dame fell. Definitely why Mike Johnson took that time out and said we just cannot have a repeat of what happened last time. So now we have Bree Gertz who will serve it for the Panthers. She'll send it over to the Irish side. Aubrey Hamilton will make a light tip saved by the Panthers. Driven back over and blocked at the net. Setting up Miller, that'll be saved by the Panthers. Looking on attack, saved by Monson. Hamilton, another spike, Monson, can she save it? She can. What a great job by Notre Dame to send it back over there. Light tip, and that one will go, so point for the Panthers. They'll now take the lead in this, the fourth set. This is a very big lead change because this is a do or die set if you're Notre Dame. Gotta win this to try and push to five here. As once again, we'll have a little bit of court maintenance as just making sure all the sweat's off. Great job today by the staff here, making sure the court's all clean. So now Gertz back to serve it yet again. Nigo with a dig. Driven home attempt there, unsuccessful. Blocked at the net, but that will fall through Miller and I believe that was Caroline Muth. So Milwaukee will take a yet another point. This is a very crucial play in volley here 
for Notre Dame. You can't extend it past two because it's going to be a mountain to climb if you want to get back in this. Blocked at the net, and that will fall for the Irish, and they'll get a point. That'll make it a one-point game, 16 to 15. And now you can take a deep breath. You're not as far away as that two-point deficit I was talking about. Past two, it's a really hard hill to climb if you're Notre Dame to get back in this and win the set. So Fiona Schrader will be back to serve it. However, she'll be unsuccessful as that one will hit the net and fall short. And the Panthers will take a two-point lead yet again. Yeah, that's a tough service error from Schrader, which is every point here in this later part of set four is crucial for Notre Dame. They got to try and stay in it. Some subs come in, including Riley Vaughn, who will send that one over. Good dig there by Jess Grabowski. Block at the net by the Irish. That one will be sent out, however, but they're going to call it a deflection, and it will be point Milwaukee. And they'll now take a three-point lead. As Johnson just pacing up and down, talking to his team, says, we're in it, we're in it, we're good. At its 18-15, got us. For Notre Dame, I cannot stress this enough. You gotta return and get a point here. Vaughn sends it over and Hamilton just isn't able to corral that one and send it back. And so the Milwaukee will now take a four point lead and it'll make it 19 to 15. As Ari Miller has been fighting this comeback for the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee here as she's been doing everything today and she sends it in and finding that gap as she's talking to her center right there and communicating. That's one of her, Ari Miller I've seen throughout the day communicating with her setter where she's gonna be and where she wants it placed for her to get a kill. You can just see after a kill, you'll just see her emotion and she'll just feel it. And every point throughout this contest, the Milwaukee team has been alive and their bench comes up. And that's why once Milwaukee gets going, it, they're a hard train to stop. So the Irish trail by four here in the fourth set of the match, down two to one in sets. Milwaukee looking to finish the job here and come out of these Shamrock Invitational with a 2-1 record. And Meanwhile, if, for the Irish, they're just trying to survive. Exactly. If you're Notre Dame, you're just trying to win a game that the tournament you hosted in your mm -hmm. arena, in your town. You're just trying to win one game out of the three games you've played this weekend. A reminder that the Irish had been ranked last weekend, and now they've had a tough weekend so far. They're trying to stay alive today. Hamilton will drive that one home for a kill. The Irish aren't giving up yet. No, they are not. They answer with a strong and necessary point to keep them within three as it's 19-16. As you'll see Johnson again talking to Hamilton. Johnson's, Mike Johnson has been doing that all day for the Irish, talking to his servers. Hamilton will send it in. And we have a stoppage in play as Milwaukee will be given the point and they'll now take a 20 to 16 lead. This is a tough, this is a tough place to be if you're the fighting Irish. You need to answer here. As for Milwaukee, keep playing your game. It's gotten you a comeback and stay on the backs of Ari Miller and Maddie Malone. Those are the names that have routed this comeback. That was Sarah Schrader setting it over for them. However, that kill attempt by the Irish will go unsuccessful as it'll go out of bounds and Schrader will be back to serve yet again. 21-16 here. This is the entire ball game. Schrader to send it over. The Irish looking on attack. Saved by Grabowski. Saved by the Irish. That was Munson twice. And that one will go, and the Irish will get the point. Although Nigo's going to get the credit, Munson is the true savior of that point. Sacrificing and diving, didn't even get off the ground as she's just tossing her arms out, get, making sure that she keeps the ball alive because she understands how crucial every point is here in the fourth set. 
So here's Lindsey Miller to send it over for the Irish. Panthers trying to get something together. Blocked at the net. Nigo to send it over. Disorganization by the Panthers. They'll send it back. They're looking to get something started now. Nigo with the serve and it's blocked. And Nigo with a kill attempt, or I'm sorry, a dig attempt there, unsuccessful. And so the Panthers will get the point. They are now three short of taking this game. As Nigo isn't able to place her hands under it to try and pop it up to then make a play, but puts her wrist down at Morley and sends it right into the net as Notre Dame has to dig this one out here. So Grabowski sends it over for the Panthers. Block at the net, but unsuccessful save attempt there by Nunez, and so the Irish will now come two points short of losing this match. As Milwaukee, you'll see Susie Johnson on your screen right there talking to her team, communicating where, she, where everything's gotta get played and what should get played, and she's using every motion possible to make sure her team is in sound mind to try and win this. Nigo with a light tip over. And that one will be finished there by the Irish. And they'll get the point, and they're just trying to fight to stay alive now. And Zoe Nunez, who has a couple service aces, needs, this is the perfect person that you want serving if you're in order to aim. Nunez sends it over. A dive there, a save there, they'll send it back. A light tip, but they won't be able to converge on that one. And the Panthers will get it and now make it 24 to 18. The Panthers are one point away from winning this match. The Irish just trying to stay alive. They won't. The Panthers will take this one as they will win this one. Three sets to one, winning the final set 25 to 18 as the Irish will go winless in this Shamrock Invitational and Milwaukee will finish two and one. Milwaukee, although it got scary there for a second, Ari Miller and Maddie Malone put the team on their backs and said, come with me guys. Panthers, we're gonna go win this and they win their match. This has been an ACC Network Extra promotion. I'm Cesar Sanchez with my partner, Jacob Irons. Thank you and have a great evening.